Hello, it's Argo here. Today we have a very interesting one. We are going to build a castle for a king for our friend Elvis. Um, I wanted to do another exterior and interior because I think completing the project is a pretty cool thing to show off. So as you can see, we obviously he wanted to use the castle towers and the arch with the um, throne inside. So that's the only thing we had to work with. And we decided to um, try to build like a, a castle on the outside. I customized his house to kind of go with this um, dark stone look. And as you can see right here, I totally was struggling at the beginning of trying to build the outside, the exterior um, kind of framework of his house of trying to build a castle and I wanted to keep this in the video to show you that it doesn't always come together the way you want it the very first time so you kind of have to play around with things and see what works a house looked like a castle and then try to block the side of the doors and with the walls and then use the towers almost like as another rooms around um, or make to to make the the house look bigger so I think I did that and I, I like how that ended up um, turning out as you can see later on I added the pagodas right next to the house to kind of get some height right next to the house so it, it worked out really well so this is going to be a speed build I'll, I'll um, leave it here for the exterior and I'll come back right before we start inside and uh, we'll see where it goes Alright, so this is our exterior for right now. Um, we will do a tour on 
it when we finished the interior but I wanted to at least talk about some things with the interior of what I was kind of thinking um, obviously the only item that he wanted was the throne the golden throne so decided to do almost like a throne room and I wanted to do a bedroom as well so we use the partition walls to divide the room up so we can um, kind of make two different rooms in a hallway so um, that is what my vision had I didn't want to just make a throne room I wanted to kind of uh, do a little thing a little different and kind of make uh, two separate rooms so I hope you enjoy it and uh, I will get with you towards the end and we will do a full tour hope you enjoy it we are done time for the tour we will start with the exterior um, uh, for Elvis this is a castle for a king 
Um, I absolutely love this. I love uh, separating the outside with the two different kind of fencing with the hedges and the stone and iron fence. And then also the way we made the house look a lot bigger with the pagodas in the middle. It looks like little, almost like courtyard, like towers. And then I kind of put in some ruined um, pillars kind of throughout with some statues. I love the um, wing statues on the side to kind of give it more of a royal kind of courtyard feeling. Um, try to mix in some as many trees as I can and fill the space in. Um, I think it looks... I think it turned out really good. I love the custom pattern, even with a little bit of dirt on the right side, just to kind of fill in that space and kind of make it look um, a courtyard. <laughs> um, so I think we achieved what I was kind of looking for on the outside. I absolutely love the way this turned out and think it turned out um, pretty similar to what I envisioned at the start. So I hope you enjoy this and then let's go inside and see um, how the inside turned out. All right, so this is our inside of our castle. Um, as you can see with this montage video, it's a little bit harder to see right now, but um, we made like a little bit of a throne room for Elvis. We made a little couch over here, he's sniffing his bread, <laughs> and um, we put the banners to just kind of make it look a little bit more royal with the um, chandeliers with the can uh, the candles above it. So I think that turned out really well. I think what sets this room topping on the cake, so to say, is the drapes that I put around, the black drapes. Um, I put them around the throne and also on the side walls and above the bed. So I think that turned out really well and I absolutely love how that um, that look, that aesthetic uh, kind of came all together. And then I had a little hallway on the side with like the armor. I thought that would be really cool because usually, usually in the hallways of like a castle stuff you'll see like they put armors on the stand. And as you can go over here I put like a little stand or a little area where you can sit down um, for snacks or, or whatever and then end up putting the turkey day stand right there with the flower. I think that turned it out really well and filled that little corner in. Um, I love the chandelier above this as well. So um, I absolutely love how this turned out. I know it doesn't seem as packed and um, like items everywhere like my normal builds but I think in certain si certain situations you kind of have to leave that space in the space the negative space actually um, is a, a decorative um, tool you can use as well um, so I think this bedroom turns out really well too I, I it's very simple it's nothing too crazy or too elaborate but I think for what it, it is I think it turned out exactly how we want to look so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, um, we'll see you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, come check me out over on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash playmargo, and you can be part of some of the speed builds of when we do um, uh, work on our island and on Happy Home Paradise, and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.